Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIoT. In today's class, we are going to learn about Raspberry Pi. Okay. So, what is a Raspberry Pi? Raspberry Pi is a low-cost mini computer which can fit in a pocket almost in the size of a credit card. Okay. But the credit card will be sleek and very, very slim. But uh, this Raspberry Pi, almost the size of a credit card, but it will be a little bit bulky. Okay. So almost we can call it as a mini computer. Okay. So this Raspberry Pi runs various flavors of Linux and can perform almost all the tasks that a normal computer or a desktop can do. Okay. In the further classes, we are also going to see how this Raspberry Pi runs as a normal computer okay so this raspberry pi also allows or we can also interface several sensors to this raspberry pi and we can do several projects as well which we are going to see in the further classes okay so this specially uh, this raspberry pi runs linux operating system and it also supports python which is out of the box Coming to the board, okay, we have several points or the features regarding the board, okay. These points as we are referring the textbook, okay, these points or the features may be old according to that, that time board, okay. But as the Raspberry Pi versions are keep on upgrading, there might be changes in the features or upgradation in the features, but almost the overview of the features will be almost same or the options which we see on the board will be almost same, okay? So, coming to the Raspberry Pi board, first we need to consider is a processor as well as RAM, okay? So, processor itself is the Raspberry Pi board which we are mainly considering. So, Raspberry Pi board is mainly based on an ARM processor, advanced risk machine processor, okay? So, the uh, latest version of Raspberry Pi, according to here, what I'm saying that the latest version of Raspberry Pi can be version 2, okay, which is having 700 megahertz with uh, ARM 11 uh, processor and also has a 512 MB RAM, okay, but uh, right now we are having uh, advanced versions, Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry Pi uh, 400, okay which are having uh, 2GB, 4GB of RAM also integrated to it, okay? So coming to the USB port, Raspberry Pi comes with two USB ports. This particular model, what I'm talking about, uh, which is of version 2, model B, comes with the two USB ports, okay? And these USB ports on the Raspberry Pi can provide a current up to 100 milliamps, okay? This is very much uh, sufficient for a keyboard or a mouse to be connected in order to use it as an uh, computer okay next coming to the next one uh, we are we need to talk about the ethernet ports okay so ethernet ports so these ethernet ports in the raspberry pi comes with standard rj45 ethernet port which we generally use it for the internet okay so you can connect an ethernet cable or also uh, wi-fi okay so in order to provide internet for the Raspberry Pi. Right now, the Raspberry Pis are coming with the inbuilt Wi-Fi technology. So, you can also directly use the Wi-Fi adapter or Wi-Fi connection as well. Okay. Next comes the HDMI output. As we need to connect the Raspberry Pi to the uh, monitor or a laptop or in order to uh, use it as a PC or a computer. Okay. HDMI port is very much important. Okay. High definition uh, interface will be given where you can provide both video as well as audio output, okay? You can also connect the Raspberry Pi to the monitor using this HDMI cable, and you can also connect to these particular laptops as well, okay? So, uh, obviously, Raspberry Pi will be having an HDMI port connected to it, okay? Next comes the composite video output. See. Raspberry Pi comes with a composite video output, which is nothing but an RCA jack, okay? So, these jacks suppose, generally supports the PAL and NTSC video outputs or the video formats, which you generally see in televisions, okay? So, this is also one of the options which comes with any model of the Raspberry Pi, okay? Coming to the audio output, Raspberry Pi has an 
3.5 mm audio jack okay this audio jack is used for providing audio outputs which we have uh, earlier seen in seen in uh, um, like uh, music players okay uh, small fm radios and many more uh, devices right so same kind of audio jack is provided in this particular uh, audio output device also okay next comes the main important one which is nothing but gpio pins okay so raspberry pi or an arduino or any controller or processor these gpio pins are very much important where we consider them as general purpose input output pins suppose we need to do some sort of projects in order to interface the sensors or in order to interface the actuators for several projects or several applications these general purpose input output pins are very much um, applicable okay so there are several types of gpio pins like uh, we can call it as a power supply pins we can also uh, consider as i2c interface pins spi interface pin serial transmitter and reception pins okay and many more pins or uh, digital pins okay many more pins are integrated in this we are going to see all those pins also i, I will be physically showing the board as well and i also I explain the images with respect to them okay so next comes the digital serial interface we also have an interface in order to connect the lcd panel to the raspberry pi we consider it as digital serial interface dsi okay next comes the csi camera serial interface the one of the major reason for the raspberry pi to make become popular is we can connect a camera interface uh, to the raspberry pi okay so the camera serial interface okay can be used to connect the camera module to the raspberry pi csi okay next comes we have a couple of uh, leds which shows the status and their functions okay and not only that we have sd card slot this is where uh, it plays a major role in order to store the os okay so i will be showing you how to do all those things okay so sd card slot is also given such that uh, we can uh, uh, insert and memory card or chip kind of thing where you can store this particular os and run that particular os okay so next comes the power input raspberry pi has an micro usb connector in order to give the power input as we connect the mobile phones okay similar way the same micro usb as connector is also provided in the raspberry pi okay so we have several leds act which is nothing but sd card access pwr it shows the 3.3 volts power is present fdx full duplex lan connected lnk link and network connectivity 100 100 mb lamp connected all these leds will be shown on this okay so the image is not clearly shown i will be uh, showing you the uh, good quality image okay so we are going to see the image of a board okay and i am going to show you what all the features are there which i have explained you till now and i will also show you the pin configuration gpio pins okay so let's see those let me share the screen see so this is the board i am talking about almost the board looks the same in any version but the features differs okay so we have uh, this particular raspberry pi this is a uh, raspberry pi 3 model okay which is having four usb ports okay uh, the features keep differing uh, from board to board as i've already said you have a 100 lan port 10 by 100 lan port we have an 3.5 mm audio jack we have cas csi camera port we have hdmi output in order to connect the monitor we have an usb power input dsi display port sd card slot okay this also has an onboard bluetooth and wi-fi connectivity okay and general purpose ivo pins which has got a 40 pin raspberry pi will have a 40 pin general purpose ivo pins what are those all those pins we are going to see okay and at the most we have for this particular board which i am showing in the image this has got a quad core 1.4 gigahertz broadcam okay i mean broadcom okay so bcm 2837 64 bit cpu okay 
this is very 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 powerful cpu in order to use it as a pc it looks very very small and compact but it has got a very much powerful uh, cpu where this particular compact board can almost uh, works like a normal general purpose pc okay now let's see the pin configuration see this is the gpio uh, pins uh, as i've already said in total we have 40 pins okay so one side left side we have pin number 1 to pin number 39 okay and uh, and the right side we have pin number 2 to pin number 40 okay so if you clearly observe it it shares the pins like this left side will be 1 right side will be 2 again left side will be 3 right side will be 4 and it keeps on going okay at last we will be having a left side pin will be 39th pin and the right side will be 40th pin okay so if you clearly observe over here we have 3.3 volts power pins which is considered as the first pin okay let me show you clearly see okay 3 point and 17th pin is also 3.3 volts okay and we have ninth pin as ground 25th pin as ground 39th pin as ground again if you see at the right side okay we have 14th pin as ground 28th pin as ground 38th pin as ground 34th pin as ground okay and we also have 5 volts power supply where second pin and fourth pin are the 5 volts power supply and at the bottom I forgot to tell you sixth pin also given as a considered as a ground okay remaining all the pins most of the pins if you see over here gpio pins input and output pins okay any pin can be used as either for an input in order to interface the sensors or as an output pin in order to interface the actuators it can be in displays it can be a motors with respect to motor drivers or it can be anything okay so all these pins will, can be used according to the application required okay so this is the basic explanation of an raspberry pi gpi one now let's see a physical device okay how a, actually a raspberry pi looks and i will be also showing you all these pins and all the ports we have seen till now okay theoretically so this is a raspberry pi 3 model okay which you are seeing over here okay so let's see the ports one by one so these are the four usb ports which you see over here we have four usb ports one lan port and coming to the bottom we have 3.5 mm audio jack and this is this white part what you see over here this is the csa camera port and the next comes the hdmi port okay in order to connect to the monitor okay so next comes a small usb power input okay the next one is the sd card slot so let me show you this one the bottom which we have this is the sd card slot and this socket over here this is used to connect the display so this is dsa display port okay this whole um, raspberry pi is already having bluetooth and inbuilt wi-fi as well so this is the main chip what you see over here it's a broadcom chip okay this is a broadcom chip and the pins what you see over here is an 40 pin GPIO general purpose IO pins okay so this is the overall Raspberry Pi 3 board 